Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to determine impact speed. Just like Angry Birds, when the bird hits the block at a certain speed, the block destroys. If it doesn't hit it at a fast enough speed, it doesn't destroy. So it's fairly simple. Let's move on. Um, the first thing we need to do, um, I guess I'll show you a preview. I just have the blocks and I shoot my cannon. And as you can see, it just pushes the blocks right now. So the first thing we're going to do is create an attribute. And this is going to be an uh, index attribute, because I don't want any negative numbers. I just want them to be whole numbers. We're going to choose, and I'm going to call this ball speed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the ball actor, and I'm going to constrain game ball speed to magnitude and in between the brackets here I'll just delete those and we're gonna go ball motion linear velocity X comma oop, linear velocity Y I'm gonna hit OK so what that's going to do is it's going to constrain the speed of the ball to this attribute. And now what we need to do is go into the box actor and we're going to create a self attribute. And again, I'm going to do index and we're going to call this also ball speed. And we're going to make a rule. We're going to say when overlaps or collides with ball, change attribute and we're going to change self ball speed to game ball speed so that's going to what that's going to do is it's going to record the ball speed at the time of impact to each individual block i'm going to quickly throw a display text in here and we're going to tell it to display ball speed. So I'm going to hit preview and as you can see now it's recorded all zeros so I'm going to do a shot here and it's showing you how fast there you go so that's that's the ball speed so now we can determine if the ball if the block gets destroyed or not depending on how hard it was hit. One thing I'm also going to do is I'm going to go into the ball and I'm going to do a timer after four seconds. I'm going to destroy my ball so I don't have a lot of balls with constraints on them. And now I'm going to go into the block and I'm going to make a rule, create a rule. I'm going to say when attribute self. And I'm going to go ball speed is greater than, and let's do greater than 200. We're going to tell it to destroy. And I'll get rid of the display text here so it looks normal. Hit preview. And so let's do a light shot here. Those don't get destroyed. Now let's do a heavy shot, and it does. Light shot, heavy shot. There you go. And you can put a little bit of a delay on the destroy if you want, so that way a ball can't go through three blocks. It's up to you. So you could say after 0 0.1 seconds destroy. And uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about um, speed impact. And uh, please follow me on Twitter. I am at GS Helper. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll also, don't forget to head on over to gshelper.com and you can download this uh, project file.